Hello friends, welcome to Enabling Accessibility Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure settings in Gmail to use it with Outlook. First, let me tell you what is Outlook. Outlook is a personal information manager from Microsoft which comes as a part of Microsoft Office Suite. Most often, it is used as email client application but it also comes with many other features like calendar, task manager, contact manager etc. Now why to use Outlook instead of Gmail? I have obvious reasons for this. Firstly, we will have offline access to our emails that means emails get downloaded on our computer and we can check our emails at any time and anywhere secondly we will have multiple ways to search for our emails by size date or sender etc thirdly outlook lets you to search emails based on the size of the message Therefore, you can easily identify emails that clog your Gmail inbox and delete them in Outlook that will automatically disappear from your Gmail servers too. You can also press application key on any email and add sender to the blocked senders list. Alternatively, you can block emails from entire web domains in just simple steps. And finally, Gmail filters are excellent but not perfect. So, spam can still sneak into your inbox. With Outlook, having its own junk filters, you will stay protected and will indirectly get the best of both worlds. So, I recommend you to use Outlook for Gmail. To use Gmail with Outlook, we have to configure some settings in Gmail to make sure that it works with Outlook. So let's get started and see what are the settings to be done in Gmail. For this, you have to open the web browser and go to Gmail inbox. When the Gmail inbox is loaded, if you are using the standard Gmail view, then I recommend you to use basic HTML view for easy access. I'm going to use all the shortcuts to make this video shorter to switch to basic HTML view first go to the top of the page by pressing control home and press down arrow then you will hear basic HTML view button press enter on that button inbox dash enabling accessibility at gmail.com dash gmail basic HTML view button space basic HTML view button when the basic HTML view is loaded, go to settings page. By pressing insert F7, you will get dialog box, links list dialog box. From that, select settings. Links list dialog, links list VS settings. Enter. Gmail page has six headings and 39 links. After pressing enter on the settings link, you will be redirected to settings page. On the settings page, you have five tabs in the form of links. And the last tab is forwarding and pop slash IMAP. We have to go to this link. So to go to this link, I'm again pressing insert F7 links list dialog, links list and pressing F. F, filters, F forwarding and pop slash IMAP forwarding and pop slash IMAP it said so I'm pressing enter on it enter. before going forward I want to explain you what is pop and what is IMAP pop and IMAP are protocols or technologies using which you can download messages from email servers on your computer and access them with the help of mail clients like uh, Outlook or Thunderbird etc here IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol and POP stands for Post Office Protocol. IMAP always syncs with 
mail server so that any changes you make in your mail client will appear on the webmail inbox also but whereas post office protocol will not sync so changes made in the client will not be transferred to the webmail inbox so i suggest you to use imap for gmail now let's see how to configure settings i'm pressing down arrow to enable both pop and imap Blank. Link add a forwarding address. Blank. Pop download colon. Link learn more. One period. Status colon pop is disabled. So here pop is disabled. Uh, now I, I want to enable pop. Here we are left with two options. Radio button. Unchecked enable pop for all mail. Enable pop for all mails. And. Radio button. Unchecked enable pop only for mail that arrives from now on. Enable pop for mails that arrive from now on so here i'm selecting enable pop for all Radio mail, enable pop for all mail. by pressing spacebar on enable pop up for Space all mail enable pop for all mail radio button check so period when messages are accessed with pop combo box keep gmail apostrophe yes copy in the inbox here the second option is when messages are accessed with pop and there is a combo box keep gmail's copy in inbox actually what happens is that when you access email with pop or any client first the mail gets downloaded to the client server and the original copy will be deleted from the inbox but Google has given us an option to keep it keep the original file in the inbox or to mark as unread or to delete the original copy. Here I am not changing any option because I want my original copy still to be in the inbox folder. Blank. Three period. Configure your email client left parent blank. Link configuration instructions. Emma access colon. Now IMAP access. We have to enable IMAP, IMAP access also. Left parent access Gmail from other clients using IMAP right parent. Link learn more. One period. Status colon IMAP is disabled. Here the status is showing as disabled. So we have to enable. Radio button not checked. Enable IMAP. Here enable IMAP is disabled. So uh, is not checked. So we have to check it by pressing space bar. Space, enable IMAP radio button checked. It says enable IMAP checkbox checked. Sorry, radio button checked. Radio button not checked, disable IMAP blank. Now we have to go to save changes button and press space. No period, blank. Blink configuration instruction cancel button, save changes button. Space, save changes button. Still there is one more setting to be done. For this, after the changes are saved, again you have to go to the links list dialog box and choose account link. Links list dialog. Link A. All mail. A. Account. Enter. Address and search bar edit. HTTP. A new page. page will be opened and in this you have to go to connected apps and sites. This is also in the form of link. So I am going to Links list dialog box. Links list dialog. See connected apps and sites. Enter. After pressing enter on connected apps and sites, you will have some headings over there. Press down arrow until you hear allows less secure apps. You have to turn on this because Outlook is a third party application for Gmail. So Google is not sure that whether it is secure or not. So you have to enable this. So I'm enabling this. Saved passwords heading allow less secure apps call it off heading level five. It is saying the enable uh, uh, allow less secure apps is off. So pressing down arrow and, devices use enter, sign dash in and, sec and press enter then it will be turned on. 
Now let me recollect all the information to you. After opening the HTML page, go to settings and under the settings tab, go to forward and pop slash IMAP. Under that, check the enable, enable pop for all mail radio button and also enable IMAP button. Then press on save changes button. After that, again press insert F7 and go to account option and you will be redirected to my account page. In that, under the sign in and security section, press on connected apps and sites link. In that, allow access to less secure apps and that's it, you are done. In the next video, we'll see how to configure Outlook. Friends, this is my first video and welcoming your feedback and suggestions. Please give your suggestions in the comment box below or write to us at enablingaccessibility at gmail.com e-n-a-b-l-i-n-g-a-c-c-e-s-s-a-b-i-l-i-t-y at gmail.com Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.